Welcome to Reggie's Corner Variety Gaming. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Tale of Inky Pilgrimage and part number 7. As you can see we are still out in the Bone Pass desert area and I have kind of reached uh, like a dead end almost. This part that we were exploring in the last video ends up leading straight back to an earlier area. So we will continue exploring from here and see where it goes. And seeing that we have explored to the left, we will now explore this area to the left. And here, oh, we can see two treasures that we definitely need. Uh, full disclosure, I grinded quite a bit since last part because I wanted to have better equipment and all the red potions and we have now gotten them from the village of Target so the party, oh 25 coupons, the party is a little better. I guess I should just shake every rock now. Well we've been doing that. So we get better stuff and that is to cut down on some grinding time. And he uh, told me with that crit. Could have told me earlier though. Wouldn't have minded that one bit. And another crit. Maybe I should uh, continue complaining about how much they miss. Yeah. Okay, so what's in this? Red potion. Yeah, let's give her that one as well. They are now more evenly leveled. All right, so let's start with the blind routine. And we got some loot, but even better is that Gargan can now grab this loot. But first, let's see if this stone had something. It did not. 250 coupons. Very nice. So this means that show you real quick we now have the best axe a good spear best sword uh, we don't have the upgraded like melee weapon so maybe we should get that for two stone we also have good armor so that's very nice and we now have some money so we could get that and then it might be worth heading back to one of the earlier areas near Suth Temple that was a bit too hard earlier on but we are now quite a lot uh, stronger so maybe we should do that but first let's see what we can get here so we have two more weapons still and also this pier bug shell so fire mace could do that Let's see hopefully that was what he's using yeah so might be a good idea to take a quick snooze and then head back and this is also the first time we use the travel master system Howdy, Gargan. Where would you like me to take you? Travel to Nersuth. You want to go to Nersuth? Travel wolf, get going. Grr. And we have the achievement traveler. All right. Yeah. So, um, I'll stay here. Very cool. You know what? Let's see. Seeing as we're here. Could we? Yeah, he still has a, a red potion. We should save up for that and come back and get it. Because all red potions are delicious. 
and we like delicious things. Can we steal more carrots? Have they like come back in style? No, that's a one off. Fair enough. It hasn't really been that long since we plundered them the first time. As I was saying, we are back at the forest temple thingy. A mighty challenge that we can't defeat, but we will try. Last time we really struggled in this area. Let's see if these fights are easier. Because now we can use magics of our own. Yeah, the minor drain though is the worst and that is still the worst money quite a lot of money praise beat crop made the battlegrounds fill with blood every night I won't take any more offerings, okay, that's cool. And we got some new music down here. We've already taken that treasure. We haven't fought these guys though, so let's do that. Oh, he got turned into a toad? Frogs can't cast spells. And that makes sense. Frogs can wield spears, for one. That was a bit of a tough fight because of the blindness thing. Okay, what are those? Slightly better? These weapons are poor quality. I'll stick with my own gut. No. Brood! That's a deader. We got quite a bit. Oh, stick with my own. Can we do anything here? Let's get out of here. So we got a treasure. This is probably still maybe too hard of an area, but kind of want those treasures though. You can sneak up on it. But we can get the treasure. Titanium armor. Oh, and those enemies actually disappeared. Just an empty barrel. Ring of gore resistance. Titanium armor and gives one more. And we have one more of these that we can use now. Out of here before things... Well, I kind of want to see what's in here though. Okay, this is a big area. Let's just get out of here with our loot. On the cheesy side, you could probably just flee from a lot of battles and get rid of the enemy mobs. But I would rather deal with them as intended. So this place really didn't 
lie. It's a tough old place, that's for sure. We are back. And there's the Travel Master. We'll be back there as well soon enough. But first... Thank you. Do you have anything new to say? Agrus Meticulous, please leave me be. Fine, be that way, jackass. Let's splurge a little bit. Now, right. And we are going back to Target Village. Where haven't we been? Oh, we can continue to just head south. And I think that's the only route we have left. So let's start by checking this area out here. And I'm avoiding the battles because I grind quite a bit. Uh, oh, Kagu! Uh, I avoid battles when I've already grinded quite a bit, so I think I'm on an uh, intended level, so to speak. Greetings, young ones. Did you just come from the Bone Pass? We did, old man. What of it? Did my friends ever find that Kagu fellow? No, but they attacked us. Do you have some involvement? If so, prepare yourself. Ah, no, no, I am Kagu. I thought they might have collected, colluded with you folks. That's all. Clearly I'm mistaken. You look like a helpless old man. Why are you so important to them? I'm considered a criminal back in Foxwood. I'm a merry old man. It's just a uh, guys I use. Maybe we should slay you then. State your crimes so that I may consider them. I'm a gore magician. I've used my magic control and manipulate others in positions of power before. Eventually I was thrown in the cells for it and I've long since done my time. Why are they still hunting you? I did my time and my only desire now is to repent for my crimes before I die. Many suffer due to my actions and I've had a decade to understand the error of my ways. I want to get back in Sindor's favor before my time is up. However, these mercenaries were hired by former loyalists to take me out and won't, leave me, won't let me live in peace. If I'm being constantly hunted, I must always be on the move. The biggest question now is why should I believe you? Look at me. Now, do I look like a threat? Search me if you must. You may not look like a threat now, but a few strong spell crystals in your hands and things could go very differently. You said yourself that the ragged old man thing was just a guise. You should arrest him. Drag him along with us until we find a f <laughs> facilities where they off his head. We Ankyas don't have the death penalty without proof of wrongdoing. If he's truthful about having done his time, then no punishment here. Ogres can handle it. We're not killing him. You're damn right you're not. Look, if I make you feel better, then I'll come along with you, remain under your supervision and prove my intent. All I ask is that you point me in the direction of folks he needs that I may aid them. And I'll agree to that. He seems to be truthful. Thank you, my rocky friend. How do you know? Our giant eyes give us a lot of focus. I usually have a good idea of when people are lying. Gargan, how do you get your scars? Fighting a demon? Well, lie. Well, he has the temper of a demon. 
His father? This seems highly dysfunctional. <laughs> now even more so. Kagu joins the party! And we have the Ashim and Kagu. Okay, that was cool. And what stuff does he have? Not much life. Not much life at all. And he's got nothing. Okay. So let's start by giving him... Um, I has a staff and he can use the minor drain that's also a thing that I got previously but I couldn't use at the time because well we didn't have cargo I think that's all we can give him for now we should probably um, consider buying some better stuff for him as well is this the travel master again Howdy, Gargan. Where would you like me to take you? Keep in mind that I tend to stay mainly in Ogre Settlement. So we target and nurse Sooth, and I'll stay here. For now. Let's talk to this guy. Who are you? Guard Roger. I used to be a mere gate guard, but I've come a long way since. Someday I'll be a true captain. Well, that's, that's nice. 22 coupons? Hmm. Seems like somebody left us a welcoming gift. And it's ours. All ours. Let's plunder some more carrots because we went through the ones we did have. And see if there's anything in the building. Empty barrel. The truth about Mooncore. You've heard of the Loker, right? Perhaps you've heard of the Rukor too? They were the seafaring cousins of the Loker. I bet you haven't heard much, if anything, about the Moon Core. The Moon Core looks similar in structure to the Loker, except for their golden skin and orange eyes. Supposedly, they departed from Enki shortly after arriving to dedicate themselves to the magical arts. What I gathered from the Loker was that the Moon Core also took to the sea but planned to settle on as large of a magical island as they could find, rather than tread on the toes of the Eperos locals. There have been a few reported sightings of Mooncore across Enki, but they're hard to verify. Some even report that they, there are a very small number who return to live on Eperos. In all my travels, I've yet to find one. When I do, I'll be sure to revise this book with a much more comprehensive guide. Anything in the fireplace? 32 coupons! A strange place to keep them. And yeah, that's true. Okay, so there was some stuff in here. And there's an inn. Guard William, be careful, folks! There's trouble up ahead in Castle Proudwind. Loker have invaded from a portal within and things aren't looking good. This looks very much like the next main area, so... Oh, there's a lot of people in here. You know what? Town of Felgroth is what we are entering. Uh, before we do that proper, we should probably make sure that we know What's down south? Yeah. Ouch. Okay. And we got to refill our coupons. So, what I was about to say is that we should check what's down here before leaving the area. If we can ever do such a thing. Fight's over. Okay. Let's see what we have here. First though, looks through the shrubs, nothing. Oh, what's this? It's like a, a camp. And we'll take your stuff immediately. Boots of speed. What do they do? Oh. 
And these are all good stuff. So. Lilu, I have a deep secret that I need to tell my husband. Please, strangers, will you listen to me? No. Of course. When our financial woes back home got worse, my husband spent all of his time working. I did something horrible. Spit it out. I took a lover. Disgusting. You have a husband and a young child over there. You're pregnant. Your husband is not the father of your baby, is he? I honestly don't know. Tell him. What if the baby's his? It'll just cause unnecessary pain. Irrelevant. Your deception will come back to haunt you worse later. I'm going to lose him. If so, it's deservedly so. So, which is why you should tell him and let him make his own choice. See? This is why I didn't want to get involved. You didn't want to get involved because if it doesn't have violence, your attention span begins to wander. I don't know what you're talking about. If you're done bickering, I'd like to offer a token of my appreciation for listening to my story. Good. What is it? Oh, Minor Scorcher. I don't think we'll need many fire spells here. Hopefully, it's of some use on the road. It is. I'm still trying to find the words. Okay, let's look at the shrubs real quick and then talk to everybody. I wonder how many people just leave red potions around. They're expensive. Yeah, that totally paid off. The red potions are delicious. Okay. Moku, I know we're being attacked, but I'm just glad I get to finally rest. We've been traveling for weeks. Yeah. Yuba, I'm naturally skilled, but pretty much everything I own is enchanted. My bow is my most prized possession and it's of the fourth level. A few shots each would take these rangers out with no problem. Mogi. I brought my wife's son and our unborn child on this journey with me. I thought I would, it would be a chance for a new life, but my wife seems unhappy. Yeah, and we know why. Muto. Woodworking is my passion and I love to build. It'll definitely be trickier getting a home built here than in Foxwood, but we have plenty of magic to help us fertilize this area. Daku. We're trying to establish a settlement, but the rogue Vulpa outside think we're harboring a man named Kagu. I'm sorry, but that's me. Will you please do something about them? We have two very able fighters in our group, but they're exhausted from the journey and having to fend off a few of those of these harassers already. Okay, we will. We, we will? We will. There's a particular trio who seems to be giving the orders. Rogue Valpa. Uh, Daku in the Bone Pass wants the Rogue Valpa dealt with. I can't help but feel responsible for these Valpa harassing Daku's people. It's time to take action and put an end to them, Kagu. Vulpa Ranger. There he is. It's Kago. He fits the description perfectly. It's time for your lives to come to an end. I warn you to leave me alone. Wow. So we have another... A new theme. I'll up the defenses. And punch you in the face. And then we'll blind the lot of you. Mm. 
maybe not worth it because that ended fairly quickly. One down. And we have victory and a lot of coupons. That's taken care of. So was that all of them or one of them? You know, let's go back and talk and see if that does anything. You've taken care of them? Yes, they're dead now. There are still some straggling rogues about. Can you handle them? I'm sure that we can, and we have the achievement Rogue Valpa. Take this, it may be useful on the road ahead. Received level 2 Greater Grain. Ah, very nice. I've not been able to find this one since I got here. We aim to bring a few more Valpa once we're up and running. I'm telling you, this won't end well. Valpa are easily crushed if it gets out of hand. We've done it before and we'll do it again. I can hear you, you know. So we got that all sorted. So this is probably as good a place as any to end off part seven of this Let's Play. We got a few achievements, we found some new quests, and we also found a new town. And I think we'll start the next part by looking a little bit at that. I hope you had as good a time as I had, and that I will see you again in the future. Until then, have the greatest of times, and I will see you when I see you. Bye for now. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it or the channel at large, please feel free to click those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you.